This trick will help you with Google Docs anytime you wanna share a document outside your company or even inside your company that forces someone to create a copy of the document as you open it. It's great for templates. It's great for you creating something once and having multiple copies made anytime someone wants to create a new version of the document rather than having to manually copy and potentially making changes to the document that you've shared with them. So Amy asks, is there a way to have a document in the shared drive that is forced copy among opening? I know that I can change the end of a link to copy and then send that link, but I still have to share it manually. I want the document that is stored in a shared drive to force copy upon opening. So Amy, this is a good question. And for anyone that doesn't know, I may even show what this trick is because it's a pretty useful trick for you to see. This trick will help you with Google Docs anytime you wanna share a document outside your company or even inside your company that forces someone to create a copy of the document as you open it. It's great for templates. It's great for you creating something once and having multiple copies made anytime someone wants to create a new version of the document rather than having to manually copy and potentially making changes to the document that you've shared with them. So let's have a look at how it works. Now, if we go into our Google Drive, open any old document here, Maybe I can find one of my demo documents. Let's go into my shared drive, the demo folder here somewhere. There we go. Okay. And when I open the document, look closely at the URL. You've got the docs.google.com forward slash spreadsheets. That's pretty obvious. We have the actual document portion of the URL, which is a long randomly generated set of characters. And then we have right at the end forward slash edit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that forward slash edit and we're going to change it to forward slash copy. And I'm going to control C, make a copy of that document. Now, if I open a new tab and I paste that URL with forward slash copy on the end, you can see here it automatically prompts me to make a copy of this document. When I click that button, it's going to open the document in a new window with a fresh copy. I don't have to do anything else. And you can see here, it's obvious this is a copy because it starts with copy of at the start of the document. Love that feature, really useful if you wanna share things. But that's not the question. The question is, is there a way to have a document in a shared drive that's forced copy upon opening? They effectively wanna mark the document as for copy. Now that's not possible inside the individual shared drive. You can't denote that, okay, documents in this folder or documents in this shared drive are all copy upon opening unfortunately, but there are a couple of tricks that you can do to change settings for documents that may be useful. I doubt they are for the person who asked this question. For others who are watching this video, I'm gonna go through them anyway because they're pretty useful to know what you can do with a shared drive. Now, when you're managing your shared drives, you've got lots of different options for who to share those drives with. We recommend using group-based permissions so you can share documents and data with certain groups of staff rather than sharing them with individuals. And we've got plenty of other videos on the channel on how to create group-based permissions inside of Drive using your admin panel. But there's a lesser known feature for shared drives and a lesser known menu, which allows you to have additional configuration options. So when I right click on a shared drive, I have the option to go to shared drive settings. And inside my shared drive settings, I've got a few different features here. Now it looks like I'm not the owner of this shared drive, so I can't change the settings here. I'll walk you through them regardless. So the first setting here is whether or not to allow people outside of your company to access files. Now the owner of this shared drive is a company called Genius Creations. And that's basically saying, do we want users outside of Genius Creations to be able to access this? Or do we want it completely locked down so only people within the company can access? That's a pretty good option to toggle if I wanna lock things down. Next up, allow people who are not shared drive members to access files. Now, this one's a bit more related to people inside your company. It basically says, hey, can you share an individual file under the structure of this shared drive out to someone who's outside the shared drive top level permissions? Remember that Google works permissions a little bit differently to Microsoft or Mac OS if you've used one of those operating systems before for advanced permissions. With Google, you set permissions at the top level, at a folder level, or at perhaps a shared drive level. But underneath that, if you have a subfolder or you have files that are sitting in folders, you can share those to different people as well without giving them access to the whole parent folder. 
And that's an interesting concept. It's useful for most businesses, but sometimes you don't want to share anything outside the explicit people that you've named in the shared drive. That's what this tech box is for. Next up, allow content managers to share folders. This is another one again. A content manager on the shared drive is someone who can manage content. They can add folders, they can add files, they can edit files, and a content manager can also delete as well. They can move things around and they can change things. But this option is saying whether or not you want to allow someone to share a whole folder or if they should just share files individually. Finally, this is one of my favorite features, allow or disallow viewers and commenters to download, print and copy files. That does exactly what it says. Great feature that not many people know about. We have the ability to say on this particular shared drive, I don't want anyone to be able to download, copy or basically rip off our data. Now, that would be really useful if you're perhaps setting up a training drive and you want to share that with contractors who are external to your business and you're worried about someone potentially copying your intellectual property and sharing it somewhere on the internet. Great feature for that. I really like this for making sure that if we're sharing things externally, we're keeping them well locked down. And if someone really wanted to rip you off, I guess they could take a screenshot of every page of a 50 page PDF document that you've got stored in there. But the reality is that most people won't bother because this is just another barrier making it hard to run off with your data. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.